Hello friends, it's Prajul Pathak this side and you are watching my YouTube channel PyGuru. Friends, in this video we are going to install an uh, application for writing further codes in Python that is Sublime Text 3. Okay, Sublime Text 3 is a text editor which you can use to write further codes in Python. Okay, on this channel I'll be using this application to write codes. Okay, for so far we are using uh, official software for Python that is the IDLE. But if you uh, use it long enough, you will start hitting it or you will find that it's not enough to write complex codes. Okay so and one more thing it has a white background okay so most developers hate it so we are going to install sublime text 3 okay sublime text 3 is a text editor it was built by uh, and google engineer and remember sublime text 3 is created using the python language okay so uh, here are four things that we'll be installing in this uh, video first of all we will install sublime text 3 then we will install package control and repl then we will install anaconda and then we will install zi okay so uh, watch full video to completely uh, for complete python setup otherwise you will end up with several errors in sublime text 3 okay first of all open your chrome browser and search download sublime text 3 okay and open up the first link that appears on your screen see i, I have selected it download sublime text 3 it's the official website for uh, sublime text okay see there are two versions of sublime that is sublime text 2 and sublime text 3 we are using sublime text 3 okay now you have to select the link according to your operating system since i am using windows 64 bit this is for windows 32 bit and this is for 64 bit i will select this if you click this sublime text 3 will get downloaded automatically but i have already downloaded it so i am not going to download it again okay so uh, see here i have already downloaded it so i am just going to install it okay let me refresh it and double click it press yes on the next window yes okay and it's not very heavy it's just around 11 mb so you can download it press next okay click add to explore context menu and next and install okay it will get installed on your system okay see it's very lightweight and finished okay and yep then uh, close the chrome browser yep and in the context menu here explorer menu uh, now you can see there will be sublime text 3 okay see here sublime text 3 is here so uh, let me drag it on my desktop uh, one more thing you have to remember you have to install ideally 2 ok so sublime text 3 works with ideally so both these two applications needed to be installed on your system to use sublime text 3 ok now what you have to do simply open sublime text 3 uh -huh. ok so this is the default theme for sublime text 3 which you can change from preference and theme and i am selecting adapt to sublime theme ok I use this theme so I'm using it okay the next thing is we are going to create a build system okay see follow the steps very carefully from here uh, you have to click press ctrl n okay uh, sorry you first go to tools okay and then build systems okay and then you have press new build system okay see you have to press new build system and let me increase the font size uh, font size can be increased with ctrl plus and decrease with ctrl minus okay so minimize it okay now you have to do one thing uh, select this uh, see i am providing a text file with this uh, link uh, with uh, in this video description so you have to download that text file okay see this is the text file sublime text free python okay what you have to do you have to select this and copy it just copy it and paste it inside this build system file just that you have just opened just remove it and paste it here okay then one more thing you have to change here minimize it let's minimize it select python ideally now and open file location select open file location see this python application select it and from here you have to copy its path copy path just copy it fast okay and see here's it's written python you have to remove this python just remove it okay and paste the path that you have copied okay so see i have uh, i am just copy uh, i just pasted uh, copy path here sorry oops now one thing you have to do is remove all these backward space uh, slash signs okay so i am going to remove this backward slash signs uh, see you can uh, work at many places at once in sublime text 3 using control and your mouse okay so i am just removing it and typing forward slash then yep now what you have to do simply press control s and wherever it is saving you have to just uh, rename it and you have to type sublime build okay 
uh, you have to type your python version uh, i am using python 8.1 so so i will type Py python 81 okay i am using python 8.1 so i typed python 81 whatever you can write any name okay and then dot then sublime dash build okay remember sublime dash build is the uh, extension that you have to write here okay this name can be anything and save it done and now go to tools uh, okay you have to do one more thing now you have to set up repl okay uh, hope it helps uh, sorry you have created a build system successfully uh, uh, now you have to just close this file okay you, you have to simply close this file uh, its work is over you have to now install package control okay to install package control just go to uh, tools okay command palette remember you have to uh, connected with internet to use this and then you have to type install package control okay see here install package control click it and package control will get installed on your uh, sublime text tree okay it's simply a uh, feature by which we can install additional packages okay see here a message come package control was successfully installed done yep the next step is uh, setting up repl okay so now we have to install repl okay so again you have to go to tools and then uh, sorry then command palette and now you have to type sublime repl sublime r e p l oops sorry you have to type package control install package package control install package see this option uh, this is the option from where you will be installing your packages double click it see here it's typing loading repositories okay uh, remember you have to uh, get connected with internet to use this okay see uh, now here i can use uh, and install further packages there are lots of packages we can install but what i have to download is sublime repl okay sublime r e p l oops sublime okay see here this you have to install sublime repl just select it and sublime repl will start getting installed on your sublime text tree it may take several time okay see a message come pack package sublime repl was successfully installed okay then at the end you will be seeing this option sublime repl okay then now you have to do one more thing <clears throat> what you have to do simply create a new file control n and the text file that i have provided you have to uh, copy this second block okay just copy this second block okay and paste it here okay just paste it, paste it here and save it okay you don't have to change anything just simply you have to save it you can type anything i am typing python or epl its name is python repl you can save it with any name but the extension will be again sublime dash build sublime dash build okay and save it done simply now you have to close this okay what you have to do next is uh, build system you have to select the same thing python repl okay from tools build system you have to select python repl okay remember python repl okay done now we are going to check whether it's working fine or not simply go to tools and at the end select from sublime select python and from here python yep see now you can see uh interpreter comes to in the front of us okay and you can write any code here for example one plus two and see we get three and yep we have successfully installed sublime repl okay and two now uh, you have to do uh, one more thing you have to do is now you can write python codes in this file okay for example i am typing print hello world okay save it with anywhere uh, for example i am saving it in on desktop this is my python file you can uh, for example i am uh, putting its name is test.py okay and save enter uh, to select python to run this file with uh, sorry to make sublime text 3 uh, run this uh, file with python you have to go to tools build system and control uh, sorry build system and select python repl here okay python repl now whenever you press control b it will get automatically executed in python c i get hello world as uh, result okay so it's working fine you can increase font text from here and decrease it also control plus as control minus okay yep now this is done and we have completed setup 
till here okay we have installed sublime text free created a build system install package control and set up repl okay now we have to do more install four more things install and uh, sorry install two more things anaconda and zi to install anaconda what you have to do simply go to tools okay sublime repl okay and then you have to go to python and then uh, oops you don't have to do anything go to tools command palette install package okay loading repositories you have to type anaconda here and you have to install this anaconda simply uh, uh, it's may take time okay it's a larger package so yep uh, let it get installed <laughs> Installing Sublime Text 3. Okay, so for unable to download Anaconda, please view console for more details. Okay, let me check what the error was. Actually, it may be happened that my system was not getting internet. So let's go to again tools, command palette, install package, and you have to type Anaconda here. Anaconda and simply press enter installing package anaconda you can see at the status bar okay let it install this time hope it works this time and yep see i have successfully installed anaconda on my sublime text 3 yep done now uh, sometimes when you uh, type python codes here for example let's open our text file that we have created Control O. Now we have created test file on desktop, so I'm opening it. And here a error will occur, which you have to ignore completely. This don't have to do anything. Okay. Print uh, five. Okay. And when you press Control B, see hello world five. We are getting everything. But sometimes it may happen that you are you might get white borders around this code. Okay. You may get white borders around this code. Print five will be covered with white border print hello will be called with white border this is known as linting which you have to disable okay our next step is disable disabling anaconda linter so disable this simply you have to do do one thing go to preferences okay package settings uh, anaconda and settings default okay and from here you have to uh, make one thing uh, edit it a little let's let's do this do this do this disable anaconda auto completion okay okay come down come down come anaconda formatting formatting aggressive ignore select threshold okay see here it's written anaconda linting you have to make it false instead of true you have to make it false okay done and don't edit anything else otherwise it may throw errors just save it and remove this okay the last thing that we have to install is uh, uh, sorry zi okay the last thing that we have to install is zi zi is make um, auto completion of python codes okay so we have to install this too to install this simply what you have to do uh, select from tools you have to go to command palette and install package okay <coughs> sorry and we have to type zi here j e d i okay so zi python auto completion you have to download it and select it it will get automatically installed on your uh, sublime text 3 this is the last thing that we have to install and after one more step our setup will be completed okay uh, let it get installed and uh, from here i'll be telling you a few tricks which you can use to write faster codes in sublime text 3 okay uh, let it install first it may take several minutes okay but it's not that heavy <laughs> see one thing that we are going to do you uh, for now see print, if I type a print hello world oops let not type here uh, let's open our file that we have created test.py okay and yep we have i think we have installed jedi see here if i run this program now see uh, result comes side by side okay 
and uh, if i run this program by pressing control b it open it the result comes in side by side you can make one thing simply press alt shift 2 okay it will create another window for you and you now from now on you can write code here and get results here okay from now if i press control b see i get results here okay now if i type print 5 <coughs> okay let it get doing it's doing something press uh, sorry see it's auto completing things okay it's auto completing things for me so it's a better thing okay print 5 and if i press ctrl b now see i'm getting uh, writing quotes here and getting output here okay so it's a very good thing and one more thing that you have to do is the final step is setting uh oops sorry making left parenthesis work okay most of the times it may happen that uh, you might not be able to type the left parenthesis okay it, it, most of the times it may happen on your operating system that you may not able to type parenthesis okay left parenthesis so what you have to do you have to simply go to preferences then package settings then zi then key map default okay and you have to do one thing simply you have to uh, this see this uh, left parenthesis in sublime zi params auto complete you have to remove this left parenthesis this left parenthesis will not make you type uh, left parenthesis okay so what you have to do type anything else here uh, i am typing alt plus shift plus caret symbol okay uh, see you have to simply type this alt plus shift plus caret symbol you can type anything but remember that key will not work again okay so just save it and done yep this is the complete setup that we have to do for python uh, okay and now we can write our codes completely print 90 and control b yep hello world 90 everything is done oh so this was it guys we have installed several things in for complete python setup remember this file is available to you uh, in this uh, video description so simply you have to download this okay sublime text 3 python 3 sublime text 3 python setup okay it's a text file which you can download it's around 1 kb okay so yep this was the complete setup hope it helps you and uh, there are several shortcuts that you can use you can press ctrl n to uh, for new file ctrl o for opening file ctrl s for saving file okay ctrl b for running file and alt shift 2 for making two windows okay alt shift 1 for making one window alt shift 3 for th making three windows these are types of tricks okay there are a lot of things one more thing that you can do is uh -huh, uh -huh, uh, select indentation and uh, type here see here you select indent using spaces okay uh, this is very helpful uh, why i'll be telling you in some other video okay this was all guys okay hope you enjoyed it and you have successfully installed uh, sublime text free for python okay yep done okay see you thank you next in uh, see you in the next video